Keys, you ready with Brian Stinson and YCS Keys, man? The guests keep coming. This one right here, man. So super excited about having bro, man. He has a story just like everybody does, man. But um, my thing is about, man, pouring into him like I do all these awesome uh, young bros and young sisters, man. And so my brother is here, man. And, uh, man, uh, I can't begin to tell y'all, man, what y'all in store for musically, man. I like the fact that we got some diversity when it comes to him, man. So my brother, No Law Quano, is in the building, man. Yeah, Welcome. What's the word, everybody? How y'all feeling? Man, like super geeked up about having you, man. Uh, man, like you and uh, our other brother, man, uh, Quano Guap, man. Yeah. You know, saying the whatsoever, man. Uh, y'all be doing y'all thing, man, and everything. Definitely so. Sure, man. Man, like, uh, if you could go into the whole no law movement, man, like, what's the whole no law movement? I mean, them are my brothers, man. Shout out uh, J G Tedo five twenty one. Shout out Jado Drello. You know, everybody just got their own type of style, their own crowd. You feel me? Their own fan base. So it's just like a mix of everybody. Everybody family, you know. That's what it is. So, what made you really want to make music, though? Um, honestly, cause it was like. It was a lot of weak music, to be honest. That's what really wanted, made me want to make music because hearing a lot of other people, like, I don't know, just the music literally started getting weak to me. Like, you know, that's what it was. So what music was you not, not like, I don't necessarily want you to say nobody's name or nothing like that, but just like what style of music that were you hearing that made you be like, nah, I could do way better than this? You feel uh, me? Honestly, like rap, man, it was just like, I feel like the West Side, it, don't get me wrong, we got a lot of good artists, but I feel like they really don't get promoted like as much as like the South Side artists, the East Side artists, you know, so the artists y'all do see, it'd be like, you know, like El Hill or somebody like that, that's what y'all, no disrespect to him, he got, you know, he was good, but, you know, he ain't like no Dirk or no like her, you know, stuff like that. Oh, for sure, for sure. So like, okay, now I will ask you some names, like what's some people like, artists from out west that you feel like in some type of way need a little bit more recognition that be doing their thing though uh, outside of yourself though let me see uh really everybody that's in no law to be honest uh my cousin uh stupid shannon shout out him um sg batman you feel me he got it on the west side uh who was it's, it's a couple west side artists i'm trying to think uh telly capone you feel me that, that's my bro over there uh it's just so many man but that's all I think of the top of my head right now. So I want to get into, man, the inspiration, man, when, when you're creating music, man. Where does that come from? Uh, when I'm creating music, uh, basically, I try to put as much as me as I can into my music as possible. Like, the pain, I went through a lot. I lost a lot of friends growing up, you feel me? Lived in a lot of different parts of the city. Um, yeah, I just try to put as much as my story as I can in my music as possible. Your sound and style, man, for someone that's uh, never heard you before right here on Fusion Radio. Uh, my sound, I say I got a lot of versatility. I say uh, a lot of people try to compare me to like people like Polo G, like Cowboy and stuff like that. So you say I got melodic, but I'm just learning how to do like the drill. And now I'm starting to practice like dip into other genres, you know, just as much research as I can. You know, and don't nobody want an artist that just only got one style, you know. No doubt, man. So I feel like, man, we should uh, showcase some of your greatness, man. This record yeah. called For Show, man. What's this record about? Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. It's about a girl that, man, at the time, it just still know, man. She, she still like supporting me, man, and like she just made a lot to me. That's what's up, man. Let's jump into it, man. It's our brother, man, No Law Quano, man, with the show on Fusion Radio with Brian Stinson and YTS Keys. <laughs> I'm here. 
bed to clean up the mess. I'm just here to give you love. I don't wanna give you stress. Girl, you got me in my feelings. I just need you to confess. I like your style and your smile, how you dress. Rest in peace and kiss the prince. They put a legend to rest. Baby, can you stay with me for the night? I'ma hold you down. I promise to treat you right. I call you Mother Savage. I know you gon' blow the pipe. I know you think I be hoping, but please don't believe the hype. Baby, can you stay with me for the night? I'ma hold you down. I promise to treat you right. I call you Mother Savage. I know you gon' blow the pipe. I know you think I be hoping, but please don't believe the hype. Girl, you got my heart. I need you in my life. We gon' roll up some weed. We gon' be high as a kite. You took me from the dark and you brought me to the light. As long as I'm with you, everything gon' be alright. I won't bag, baby girl, see the grind I'ma be up on that big screen, just get away my time I'ma hit it from the back and put it all on your spine I don't wanna lose you, I don't wanna lose If you leave me, girl, I don't know what I'ma do You claim you love me, baby girl, is it true? I just need some real, cause baby, I'm overdue Giving you more, that's why I'm hurting I see you keep smiling, that make me nervous I'm so glad I met you, it was worth it If you want my trust, you gotta earn it Baby, can you stay with me? I'ma hold you down, I promise to treat you right I call you Mother Savage, I know you gon' blow the pipe I know you think I be humble, but please don't believe the hype Baby, can you stay with me for the night? I'ma hold you down, I promise to treat you right I call you Mother Savage, I know you gon' blow the pipe I know you think I be humble, but please don't believe the hype Got the bro in here, man. No long quano, man. You just heard the single, man, right there, man, for sure, man. Uh, Keish, man, you know my thing is always, man, like, uh, what do you think when you hear this music, man? See, when I when I was listening to that track right there, it's like, it, it brought me back to what you said in the beginning of the interview. Like, he different. Like, that's what, it's like, it's a different vibe. It's a different sound. And then you talking about a female. So it's like, okay, that's like, a lot of people, like, don't get me wrong, a lot of people come on this show and they have, like, different type of music and different type of songs, but, like, they'll start off with, like, a hard song or, like, a real drill song or something like that. He start off, you feel me, real calm, cool, talking about a female. But that's something I could rap to, too, though. Like, that's something I could vibe with. It ain't just, like, gang, gang, shoot em up, woo-woo. Like, that's a real song, you feel me? It's a vibe. So it's like, I love vibe. So with you coming on the show, bringing a vibe, I approve of that. That, that was a hit, right? Definitely appreciate that, man. So let's get into, man, personal and uh, professional goals, man, that you got set for you and your music, man. Honestly, uh, just to do more stuff like this, like, I got to get myself out there more, like, with the radio interviews, doing shows, uh, basically promoting myself. Um, uh, shout out Chicago Wave, too, been promoting me lately on their channel and their page, too. They got a big platform going on. No doubt, man. So uh, outside of Chicago Wave, man, you know, um, what's some other accomplishments, man, that you did? Uh, no matter how small you may look at them, man, they accomplishments. Yeah. Uh, working with Firehouse, honestly, uh, we did a video, and it's almost at 50,000 views. That's probably one of my biggest accomplishments right now because it's, like, it's my first video ever. And it's just, like, it's going to be hard to follow up with that, but it, I feel like that's definitely a big accomplishment. No doubt, man. And then let's get into, man, you got any projects out or any uh, other music outside of uh, for sure that we heard, man, that people should be checking for? Oh, uh, yeah. I got plenty of music out right now. Uh, go uh, search me at No Law Quano. Um, basically, I got a project on the way in the summertime called Mind of Leo. It's coming out sometime this summer, man. I got 10 songs up on now. Talk to us further about that, man. What, sh what can we expect from that? Uh, you expect a lot of different, you can expect a couple features up on that, man, from some unheard artists. Uh, you can also expect, like, some different sounds from me. You're going to hear some drill on that. you probably hear some uh, just different genres on that. So I want to go back, man, to, to the people that you lost, man. You, you talked about that and everything, man, and everything. Is, of course, you know, you being young and all that stuff, man. Like, yeah. um, you know, how do you, you uh, how can I say press for it when there's people that's close to you like that and you have so much that you're dealing with with that, man? What keeps you 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 uplifted through all the different things? Honestly, man, death, don't nobody really know how to deal with death. That's probably like one of the hardest things to deal with in life. So it's like with me, uh, at first, I really was numb to it because, you know, I was losing a lot of friends at a young age. So it's just like music honestly really helped me out in a way to like, okay, well, can I put this angle? Because I was always angry, you feel me? Growing up, I was getting a lot of fights and a lot of goofy stuff that didn't have to happen, but, you know, music really helped me out. That's what's good, man. So when I hear you talk about that, man, like, um, 
outside of music, man, what's some gifts that you want to tap into? Because I see so much promise in you, and I've expressed that before. What's some other things you want to tap into? Some other things I want to tap into, like, uh, as far as I'm trying to go back to school, getting some trades. Uh, also, I don't know, I don't play ball no more, so I don't think that's probably the only other thing I was doing other than that. Oh, man, so you play ball, man. What position, yeah, man? man? I play shooting guard, you know, play shooting guard, small forward. That's what's good, yeah. man. So, man, why you ain't playing ball no more, man? You still yeah. look like you go out there and give them about 40. I can, about 50, <laughs> man. But it's just like, man, hooping, man. Uh, I lost the passion for it because growing up, you feel me, I ain't have a dad. So it's just like seeing a lot of kids uh, come to their games and they get to see their mom and they dad in the crowd in the stands, you know, get to give them flowers after the game. And that really bothered me growing up. So that's why I said I, like, I had a big anger problem growing up. So it was just like, uh, you know, kind of messed me up. No, I, I definitely understand what he means by that, though. Like, yeah. when you don't have certain people that's in your corner or certain people that's trying to push you to do good, it's like, it's kind of easy to drift off and jump into other lanes and stuff like exactly. that. So, like, Brian, a big fan. Well, I ain't even going to say a big fan, but he get really excited when we got out west artists and stuff yeah, like that, though. So, yeah. like, from your point of view, though, you feel me? Because I always asked him how it was for him growing up out west and, like, how he was able to, like, maneuver through certain things. But, like, how was it necessarily for you? And how is it still for you right now? Uh, I mean, I always had a lot of different areas, man. We got we had the era where it was like the Chief Keef era when he first started blowing up. That's when everybody, you know, before all that, everybody was cool, you feel me? Then you had the era, like, you know, when they came out with, like, the bopping. That's really probably was, like, the best time in the city. Like, everybody was outside, you know, you could have fun and, you know, go to parties and all that. And then, well, I think it was, like, 2017, 18, everybody started <clears throat> getting guns, you know, shooting each other and all that. So it was just, like, you know, growing up. It's like just really, if you stay out of you mind your business, you'll really be cool. But if you if you gonna hang around your people, like some people that you know that's about this life and doing this, you you gotta be prepared for that, you know. Most definitely, most definitely. So, what's next though? What's next for Quano in 2023? What can we expect, especially now that the summer coming too? So, yeah. what can we expect coming soon? Uh, I'm working on uh, probably like two mixtapes. I'm working on a mixtape by myself. Uh, Mind of Leo. Then I got another mixtape, a joint mixtape with my cousin, uh, Stupid Shiner coming out. Uh, then I'm working on a, probably like a no law mixtape coming out. So. Okay, okay, okay. So let's touch on that mixtape, which is just you by yourself. So, like, what's the process with that? And, like, how did you end up coming to the part where you were like, okay, I want to drop a tape? Honestly, man, uh, my cousin, man, he had just got out of jail. Uh, his name is Ted0521. And really just seeing him come home from jail and his work ethic, like, he came from jail and basically, like, he started learning how to get right on the computer and record himself and all that. Then he just started dropping songs and he called me one day, like, bro, we need to really lock in. And then we locked in and we locked in the hotel for months. And then, you know, we just locking ourselves in the room and just grinding and making songs. He's telling me, like, he had let me know, like, hey, bro, this don't sound good. So you need, like, a person around you like that that's not going to let you throw anything out. So me and him on songs, you know, he's just challenging each other. You know, that's how a lot of that, my songs came about. And what's the name of it again? Man of Leo. Man of Leo. Yeah. Okay. So you so you a Leo, basically. Yeah. When your birthday? August 10th. August 10th? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Your birthday, August 10th. Mm. That's my birthday. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Is. See, I, I knew it was something. <laughs> yeah, I knew it was something. So, like, I, when you was coming up with your album and you, you picked that name, what made you want to give it that name, though? Because, I don't know, I feel like really uh, people got bad rep about Leo's because they be saying, like, we be crazy, we be sneaky, y'all, listen, all that. So, it's really like, they don't really know what we think in our head for real. So, it's just like, let me, you know, try to think of a way to uh, bestly put us out there in a positive way, you know. Oh, okay. When you, so when you when you thinking about dropping that? Uh, honestly, in the month of my birthday, to be honest, August. Yeah. Oh, okay. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna have to, I'm, I'm gonna definitely have to tune in to that because first you rapping for Leo, then exactly. you got the same birthday I got, so you just gotta represent, most definitely. All right, so um, we got this other song. So what's, what's the name of the other song? That's right actually here? on the tape. Oh, this on the tape right here? Yeah. Thoughts. Thoughts? It ain't yeah. even out yet. Y'all, the first people to get it. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So that make it even better. So, yeah. like, 
first before we go actually listen to thoughts and stuff like that, just like going to like the whole process of making thoughts and like how they come about and like how it was actually in the studio making that thought. That's what I'm saying. I mean, uh, like I said, me and cousin, we had locked in the studio and then one day he he uh turned on the beat. Or I think I found the beat actually, and then I had a song in my head, like a melody in my head, and then he told me like, nah, like bro, nah, scratch that, that's weak. And in my head, I'm like, damn, that's weak. All right, so then he like really dig deep, bro. You need to go in here, dig deep with this, and you feel me? Talk about your pain, and you know, as artists, you ain't listen to another artist like what well, he know more than I do. But it's just like he ain't telling tell me nothing but the best. So with that song, I feel like I was just was like, man, what am I really feeling right now? And that's just how I was feeling. Yeah. Before we jump into that, man, get your social media, man, where people can stay in tune with you, man, and direct them, man, to that good music where they can find that good music. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, I'm on IG, no law underscore Quano, that's N-O-L-A-W-Q-W-O-N-O. You feel me? That's on YouTube, too, no law Quano. It's up, brother, man, no law Quano, man, from that 290. Stick your chest out, boy. You from 290, boy. Uh, <laughs> Come on, man. I, I, I know, I know, I know. I can feel you telling me, don't start. Don't start with that 290. <laughs> don't start. You know I love 290, man. Shout out to 290, man. Middle fingers to the opposition. Lord, peace, forgive me, I've been sending. They love them. 